Okay, hi all. <clears throat> this is uh, Raimundo, and uh, it's an update. This is July 9th, 2017, and I think the last update was in March, so, you know. It's been about four months since uh, I last did something like this, but anyway. Um, you Hopefully some of you saw the... Uh, FE video I did and I thought that was a good thing that I did just because uh, I know in the long term it's gonna get more views just gotta keep it there for a very long time until it starts growing uh, getting more popular anyway <coughs> the other thing is I need to delete some old videos that are not very relevant um, nevertheless it's going to be used uh, on indeed like somebody's gonna click on it they're gonna email me asking me uh, if I want to interview with them or something I don't know it, that could could actually happen. So, this as long as it's out there, somebody's going to rec eventually recognize me. I think. Um, and by the way, I'm not going to rely on that. But basically, this is an update. Um, just want to let everyone know that you know the last uh, video I did on a year ago about the review on what I was doing, which is essentially reading it was like I think it was about eight books, nine books at once. Um, and then also studying for the GRE and FE, I'm uh, officially done with all that. So it's been basically a year already, and I'm uh, amazingly finished with with it all. Um, so <clears throat> I finished the Intelligent Investor, you know, and that was a really good book. But and that really, and then I finished Influence, all those other books. I there's an, a, a lot of other books I didn't uh, show in that video from a year ago. Which was almost like, was almost exactly a year ago. I think it was July eleventh, two thousand sixteen. And I was having some hard time. I was having a hard time with uh, certain things back then. But <clears throat> anyway, so uh, I really am. You know, I've been still looking for a job, and uh, you know, I'm actually going to be interviewed on the eleventh, two days from now, for a bridge engineer one position, and that's entry level, and that's going to be excellence for CH two M Hill. Um, you know, the pay obviously is going to be high. I mean, that's, uh, for, for starting structural engineering position, it's going to be the case, but, uh, that's not really necessarily important. It's more importantly is the fact, the ability to move on. They're going to want me to do a, um, a, <clears throat> they're going to want me to go to school for grad school and work at the same time, which I'm fine with because I, I think with this focus, I'm going to be able to, uh, you know, this focus on structural engineering going to be able to absorb all the details in a very uh, strict manner rather than um, having to do this random irrelevant programming <laughs> concept uh, and working with that, which is what was happening at the at Berkeley. So, and then you also had some other irrelevant things. Well, somewhat irrelevant, but it really didn't, wasn't a specialized thing. Whereas structural is, has everything to do with the niche. So, um, I am really hoping that this is going to work out and, uh, and that the interview in two days is going to go excellently and smoothly and that I'm going to be able to answer all their questions very um, agile, in a very agile manner. I think that I, I have it down. I think that, I mean, right now I'm studying a little bit for bridge engineering because I, I don't know anything about the specifics, but <clears throat> I'm really happy about that. And um, yeah, so... If I get this job, then I'm going to be, I'm probably going to do more videos on um, the, you know, the office and showing off the office. I don't know if anybody's interested in that. But basically, um, just like the other YouTuber that I've uh, been following, his name is Jorge Sanchez. I'm going to be uh, doing things similar to that. And um, yeah, just go ahead and keep keep your eye out. Uh, you know, there's, there's, I'm basically approaching life a, li a lot differently than I did when I entered Berkeley, so, and, uh, I, I see things a lot more in terms of the, you could say, a more precise, bigger picture than I did before, I mean, while, I mean, before, just before I entered Berkeley, so, and while I was in Berkeley, it was just like, one thing after the other, so I couldn't really modify any of my, um, my thinking too much, uh, as far as the big picture goes, so, you know, obviously seven months of being out of school and just being cons having some kind of living consistency 
you're going to basically get a get a you could say i mean if you if you don't if if you learn if you're able to learn well and you don't detract from goals and you stick to goals and also you don't and also you learn from mistakes well and you don't uh repeat you don't do things that are going to hurt you or harm the future if you do all these things you are going to uh develop a better idea a big a better uh big picture of 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 life and uh what you should be doing or what and what you should be doing to move forward in the best way possible. So um, now that I understand a little bit better than I did before, I'm going to be able to, uh, you know, I'm going to be using um, something called meetup.com, which you just use to get together with groups of people that are interested in topics that you're interested in. And as a result, you're going to see other professionals that are, that, that like what you like and you can connect with them and, um, essentially make your, your name shown and known everywhere uh, and attach it to something that is related to what you, what you want to do. So rather than just be alone all the time and, uh, assume that you sh you're supposed to go deep on all these little things, which is what, what was going on in Berkeley, I'm just going to assume that I kind of have a good idea of what's going on. And as far as learning goes, it's like, it's not, it's not, um, has nothing to do with sitting down and trying to go like this instantaneous depth. Um, there's, there's no instantaneous depth involved. It's just, you kind of see what's going on and then assume something correct and try to work with that as best as possible. So, and that's the best way you can, you can learn and move forward in your life. Uh, it's really a bad idea really to just keep, thinking deeply about it and trying to take care of, it, of everything all at once because especially when it's not related to anything other than what you're thinking about, which is, I think it's, I mean, if it was related to school, maybe it's okay. But um, if you're looking at the bigger picture, that is a bad way to do it. So you have to look at things in terms of systems and you're supposed to just try to, to work with it as best as possible. You know, basically treat things like it's a you like you're trying to smoothen it out. <clears throat> so that was, uh, that's been my change in, uh, thought my, my, my thinking. So as a result, uh, you know, uh, once I get this, if I get this job or if I, well, whatever kind of job I get, uh, you're going to see a lot more. I'm probably, I'm going <clears> to <throat> connect more with people and then I'm going to ask them if they can see my FE video and stuff like that. And I'm going to try to find a way to market my stuff a little bit better. I, uh, I don't know because, because you, you've seen those, that FE video, right? Um, and then as far as anything else, it's, everything is going to be in terms of trying to market it better. So the more people you meet, the easier it's going to become to say, Hey, what's going on? Um, do you want to see my FE video? You see what I mean? So, <clears throat> It's just going to be easier that way. And um, especially with, uh, you know, Jorge, I'm going to be able to contact him if and I'm going to try to do that if if this works out. So um, that's an incentive to, to try to do my best on the interview. But with uh, because when when I contact him, he he inevitably has a pool of people that he he knows. And he, that's how he was able to get his thing advertised, I'm sure or make his videos a little, a little bit better. See, at first I thought it was just a matter of like, you try to do something and if it, if it didn't work out, it's probably because, um, you didn't use the tools or something, but there's probably multiple factors that play in. And I just have to make sure the, to keep implementing each, each little thing until it works. So uh, that's, that's the case. And then also I might do some DoorDash on the side while I'm, uh, when I get off of work, I might do that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I, uh, I'm pretty happy I finished all those books. Definitely allowed me to um, see things. I mean, that's the other thing too, is the books also helped me to figure out what, what the best way to move forward, what it meant to move forward in the best way possible means. So, and uh, I can't really express everything in words at, right now because it's too complicated. But um, 
if you, like I said, if you read The Intelligent Investor and you're very diligent, you do, if you do diligence with uh, everything, you'll be, you'll also share, hopefully share with uh, me on this perspective. And thanks for watching.